Hey yo together and very welcome to the crazy StarCraft 2 crazy replays. Look at the loading screen. And there it was. So I didn't wanna cast this game because for me I thought it wasn't very interesting gameplay wise. Uh, but all of my friends told me I have to cast this. So here we are. It's on the ladder unranked. But still. It's me versus Millennium 4 GG and if you're a bit in the StarCraft 2 scene you know what the, who this guy is so. ah, hype! We have spawning on Terraform LE in the right bottom position playing for Team Millennium it's the Blue Terran 4 GG and his challenger spawning in the left top position it's the Red Terran Alex Sasher and yeah, this game I was so hyped to play against a top Korean pro gamer. I mean, okay, he's playing on Europe and North America, so not a Casper pro, but he's really, really good at this game. He's playing like a ton, streaming a lot. He's so good, and we will analyze this game a little bit. So this crazy replay will be a bit different from the others. Uh, but I learned a lot of this and this was a good game. So we have barracks into gas for 4GG. So cool, I can cast this. Ah, nice. And we have fir gas first and barracks for me. Wow, so we have the SCV scout as well. 4GG scouting with SCV. Doesn't wanna know what he's up against. And the funny thing is, if you scroll back to the beginning of the video, you see I was not ranked. So I played unranked. I played a lot of unranked lately, so my unranked MMR is higher than my ranked MMR. Which is okay, I will soon start playing ladder. And maybe there's a way. I mean, if I now get to go to play against player like 4GG, I might be able to go into GM League. That would be so nice. Oh. Mm. But still a lot of work for me to do so. So here we have the SAV scouting around and I really like that 4GG it's not the kind of player who is annoying with his SMB, just scouts around and goes away. And then, then we have the Reaper. And yeah. SCV opting for a base, a natural. So Reaper fast expand into reactor. It's very standard, very safe opening. Okay, not the most safe opening, but Reaper is okay. If you don't lose it, you should be fine. You can scout around, which he did with the SCV as well. And yeah, he will jump into the main base and have a look what's going on. For me, we got the factory as well as the second refinery and the starport. There we are. Reaper jumps in, uh, has a look, sees the gas, sees the starport. Didn't see the tech lab, but he might assume what's going on. And his reaction will be very interesting. So, Reaper survives. Uh, he just scouted around, which is fine. Uh, what do we have here? Factory for 4GG. More marines being produced. Reaper jumps in. Uh, need to be carefully. Not the best micro here for me, but it is okay. Didn't lose the marine. So, Bandit, we have, we have the Hellion and, of course, the Raven. As I'm playing Tasia's build, and this build could work quite nicely. We have here the Factory. Starport and there we go engineering bay because he saw the starport he didn't see the tech lab so he doesn't know what's going on ah did he see it no okay he didn't see it so he doesn't know what's up what he's up again so get in the engineering bay and potentially some turrets just to be able to deal with the Benji which will never come as we have here to Raven so uh, Hellion out of the map what I really like is this Widow Mine, as well as this Marine producing a turret right here. There we go. And a turret in the natural as well. There's a Widow Mine. I guess he will soon see a turret in the main base as well, uh, in the main mineral line. Viking being produced for 4GG. And for me, just standard Switcheroonie! And the base behind that. Tanks, Marines, Widow Mine in position. Second guess. There we go for the turret. And attack lab himself, I guess for tanks. So with the Viking, uh, 
Dying tanks, marines, widow mine. He will be fine. And look at the vision he got on his main base. This is really good vision. He's in position with the missile turret, uh, with the viking. A bit out of position, I would say. Yeah, turning back a bit. That's nice. He was searching for the banjo, I guess. There are some marines. Uh, where's the rest of his marines? Standing right here. If there's a drop, like Hellions coming from the top. Also quite nicely. And there we go. Cloak Banshee for him as well. And now it begins. My downfall. And you will see why. And I will lately explain, later on explain why. But for now, it's okay. He still got the Widow in position. Producing a lot of SCVs. If you look at the harvest account, it's fairly even. And what should be good for me is that he uh, used three turrets to build and an engineering bay, which is 425 minerals, which would normally do nothing for him. But watch closely. There we have the Banji, there we have the Viking, and there we have the Raven. And now, that's when I start to lose heavily. He sees the Raven, and I see the Banji. He sees also the Medivax. So, he reacts, and he sees the scan as well. Pulling the Viking just in the perfect spot to deal with the Raven. I see the Marines and commit heavily to that. Can't do anything. Kill one Marine but loses the Viking. Uh, the Raven. And here's the Cloak Banshee. And no energy left on the Orbital Command Center. So he got a bunker and a Vitamin there. Unloading everything but Cloak will be finished very soon. And I need some more time to be able to scan. Mm, there's the scan. Still no scan. Scan, scan, scan. So he can deal some damage. Be a bit annoying. Killing one or two, maybe three marines here. Or even four. Or five. Very good. And the problem is there's a second Banji. And look at that. Look at that energy. I'm calling down a mule. And I lost the Raven. And now this Banji goes uncontested for so long. There's one turret, still not doing anything for me. And he can kill so many SCVs, look at that! SCV kill count goes so much higher. There's no scan available for me for like the next 20 seconds, so this Banji goes uncontested. And... Even with the heal, there's no way for me to, to come back from that. I tapped out with the GG, because this Banji would be still active for quite a lot. Look at the SCV count. Against 40 g I saw no way to come back. And now let's analyze a little bit this game. Because there was a chance for me to win against 40 g There was a chance. If we scroll back right here, I will explain why. Here's the Raven. Okay, let's, let's go there. So, what's, what's now? Ah, it was way too, way too... Fast forward. There's the, there's the, okay. Here's the Raven. And now, now, I learned two things, two vital thing, things out of this game. First of all, I saw the Banji. Right here. I know he saw the Raven. If I would have, I need to stick with the Raven if I'm moving out, at least on the minimap. The whole time. And with the medivacs as well, stick with them, have at least one eye of them to see what's going on. Because I saw the Banji. This was so good for me. Because what I could have done, have done if I wouldn't have seen, seen the Banji, I would have just called down mules, would have been a lot of trouble, GG. But maybe I shouldn't have called down mules uh, at that stage, but later on, I don't know. I could have done two things. Uh, lock... Locate the Raven, let the Raven follow the Banji, and use the Medivac and boost under the Banji like you do under an Oracle to kill it. Number one. Number two, I could have done after he doesn't see the Raven anymore. Go with the Raven up here, which is very risky because of this awesome Widow Mine, but still. Go up and drop in the natural with everything I got here. Um, because he saw it, he will be ready at the main base, most likely. I should have thrown on a scan right now to know what's going on. The scan is normal. Um, or maybe, yeah, that's, that's the difficult thing. Normally I should have thrown on a scan to know what's in the main base. Can I drop there or not? But he saw it. 
right, he saw it. So I can assume there's nothing here. No way. As he also saw the Medivex. Don't drop in the main, go for the natural, and behind that don't throw down mules, but keep your energy for the Banshee. Those are the two options. Follow the Banshee, kill it, or go drop at the natural and save the energy. And then, look at that, look at that army supply. He got a Banshee across the map doing nothing because of Viking Marines. Okay, or not a whole lot. Back at home he got 10 Marines and a Widowmine. Uh, a tank in production, but will take 45 seconds. That's a lot. And in the meantime, I could have dropped here. Turret, turret, take the gases, kill the turret, uh, kill the bunker, force the lift off, maybe kill some SUVs as well, and stall him as long as possible, then turn back, don't lose your tanks and marines, go back, Evacuate, set up your base, and later on, that's the thing, if we look at the end of the game, look at the army, 5 tanks, 2 tanks, 12 marines, 50 marines, 2 medivacs, 0 medivacs, 3 viking, 1 viking, and if I wouldn't have lost the raven and killed 2 banshees, don't you think there would be a chance for me to win this game? Be really honest here. 5 tanks against 2, 12 against 15, I know it's 4 GG, but still. Alright. That's it. Thank you for watching. Next time I will beat this guy. I wish you a very nice day and 